Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Andrew, here with part 27 of Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are all doing well. And yeah, that is correct. It is part 27. And uh, yeah, on today's episode, we are going to be going through... Uh, route 119 up to Fortree City. Yeah, I thought maybe there was another route in between here and there, but this whole thing is Route 119. And I already caught my Pokemon for this route, so yeah. And gonna be working on Sheeta. It's been a little bit since we've had a gym fight, but uh, we only got three badges to go. Can't actually use Fly until we get the gym badge from Fortree, so... Hit me with the power cord! Victory's mine! It's our time to shine! Whoa, yeah! Yeah, it was the early 2000s. <laughs> For sure. Chef Noel. Shuckle. Get shocked. Ugh. This freaking Pokemon, let me tell you guys. Shuckle is annoying as hell. I'm gonna figure out what he actually has It is a move set. Because that's gonna be kind of key here, because Shuckle has a really high defensive stats. He's bug and rock. He doesn't really have any other stats aside from defense and special defense. HP, attack, special attack, and speed are like next to nothing. And uh, honestly... He's a... Uh, Gen 9? He's not in Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, that's okay. Using Sword and Shield, though. And Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but he hasn't been in a lot. Uh, let's see, Generation 3. Yeah, he's one of the least liked Pokemon. Which... Actually, you know what? I don't know if I've done a Pokefact of the Day on Shuckle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do one, though. I'm definitely gonna do one. So, Emerald, let's see, level 26, he would have Safeguard, Encore, Wrap, and Withdraw. Okay. Being Bug and Rock in this generation, he would be weak to Water. Rock and Steel. I have one of those things. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna switch over to Crush. Wait, did I did I read that he doesn't have any attacks? Is that is that real? Oh, he's got Rap. Okay. He honestly only learns. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven moves in this generation. Seven. So I'm just gonna surf him until he goes down. Ouch. Yeah, make me normal type. See if I care. Yeah, that's part of the problem with Shuckle, like, he's got super high defense, but he also doesn't have much of any HP. Yeah. It's... his base HP is only 20. So, honestly, if you're looking for a tank... 
I mean, Lapras is a much better tank than he is, so... To lurk in shadows and live in darkness, that is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you! Alright, fine. Artist Cho would like to battle. Artist Cho sent out Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's cool, I like Kangaskhan a lot. Uh... Tien. Tail Whip. Kangaskhan's also, like, really heavy, I think, so, like, low kick would be good in here. That's gonna hurt. Damn. Gotcha. Noise. Hopefully I don't... I don't have to battle you. I'm gonna go rest up real quick. Listen, kid, are you working on a Pokedex? Hmm, go to the Safari Zone, that's my suggestion. Alright. Have you done anything at the record corner? It's pretty neat, it mixes and matches the records of trainers. I don't know quite how it works, but it's cool. It's exciting, even. Alright. Oh wow, you have a Pokenav, and it's just like mine. Do you know about Pokenav's match call system? Access it, you can chat with registered trainers anytime. It also shows you which trainers want to rematch. Really nifty. Those Devon guys sure know what they're doing. Yeah. Except when they don't, and they get ten-year-old kids to, like, do their businesses for them. <laughs> yeah, they're super competent. Alright, let's go. Wait, I think that's a new track. To hide a tree, use a forest. To hide a forest, use a bigger forest. <laughs> Aaron. And I've seen this little guy like everywhere. Have I done a poke fact of the day on Aaron? Probably not. Sturdy? Did he actually have sturdy, or did it just happen to not take out all his HP? for the Poke Rep. How many Poke Facts has Danjo done on this series? Let's count. Lady and Licky Licky Pichu, Totodile, Lotad, Espeon, Anarith, Ninjask, Lapras. <laughs> That's cute. Roselia, Munchamp, Pilloswine, Delibird, Barboach, Rapidash, Yon, Mega Malwell, Ludicolo, Electrode, Mangaton, Gyarados, Bellasum, Alteria. Only three more to go. <laughs> Dusclops, Mr. Mime, Weezing. That's all. So no, we haven't done Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Magma Master is my destiny. Magnemites. Yeah, Tion. Get on. Or I could just have Babs do it. It's got magnitude. Yeah, Babs isn't very strong yet, but, you know. I mean, magnitude is pretty good. Nine. That's really powerful. I bow to your superiority. Okay. All right, let's check out this new track. The city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. Why, even myself, I feel as if I feel as if I've grown thirty years younger. There are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. Good track. I like it. 
Rare candy makes Pokemon grow immediately by one level. Mm-hmm. Super Repel lasts a long time, gets the job done. It's much better than ordinary Repel. Mm-hmm. Better safe than sorry. Exactly! Have more items than what you need. Except I'm not gonna buy Ultra Balls because they're twice as expensive as Great Balls of Fire. Gonna buy 12 Great Balls, yes. Can buy Hyper Posh now? I would prefer Lemonade. Woodmail. Oh, I will get four of these, y'all. Maybe a few super potions? I already have ten. Seems like enough. Yeah. No. Oh, I need to grab those items I was gonna sell. Right. Mm-hmm. Oi, oh, remember. I remember. Guard special. Mm hmm. So Nugget, 5,000, yeah. Guard special, 50, yeah. No, bye. Living on top of trees is okay. Sometimes bug Pokemon come in through windows. It can be really startling. Yeah, that, that sounds not great. Pokemon and people have adapted to nature for survival. There's no need to make nature conform to the way we want to live. Mm hmm. The tree houses of Four Tree are great. I think it's the number one town for living together with Pokemon. Okay. Like all other towns can eat shit. <laughs> What's uh, this about? Set to your own PC and eventually deliver. Hmm? Oh, it's all decoration shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. I'm buying a pretty desk and I'm putting my cute dolls on it. If I don't, when I decorate my secret base, my dolls will get dirty or poke with splinters. Okay. The ground absorbs rainwater and trees grow by drinking that water. Our four tree city exists because there's both water and soil. Yeah. Hence, Earth. I want to go to the Pokemon Gym, but something's blocking the way. After all that bother, I went through training on Route 1 120. There, go, bird Pokemon! Heh, <laughs> I asked my Wingle to run an errand for me. Okay. By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends, and that brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful! Okay. No one believes me, but I saw the gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to squirm as it flew towards Route 121. By the way, uh, you, uh, smell singed. Were you at a volcano or something? Yes, I was. What's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called the Pokedex? It's really awesome. Okay. Well, speaking about Pokedexes, I remembered something. I met this trainer, Steven, when I was searching for rare stones. Ooh, boy, he had some amazing Pokémon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader in this town. Steven's the champion. Something unseeable is in the way. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's not the champion yet? Maybe people just don't know he's the champion? People. Pokémon. Their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. I say natural. Some people say natural. Who's right? Who's to say? 
Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. I hold a gold coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right hand or the left? Right? Oh yes, correct. We shall try again. Which hand have I palmed the coin, the right or left? Right? Oh, that's correct. We shall try again. Right or left? Left. Oh, splendid. Take this and awaken the hidden power of your Pokemon. I don't think that's hidden power. Uh-huh. TM10 is... Which one is that? Oh, it is hidden power. Damn it. Hmm. My wife relies on hidden power to stay awake. She just she should just take a nap like I do. I can teach your Pokemon how to Shadow Punch. Yes. But no, I don't have a Ghost type. I mean, I do. I just don't want to waste it on a non-Ghost. Rar! I need it. I have to get me a feel. I'll do anything for it. I haven't heard that we would trade your feel. Lantern? Fuck no. If I had a feel, I would not trade you. As you're trading your memories with people. Memories. That sounds like a nice thing to have. Alright. Route 120. New route. And this is most definitely a trainer, so let's go ahead and battle. Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. You're not carrying a parasol. You're not. Chief Lydian. I did do a book fact of the day on Lydian, though. Fly? Okay, safeguard, that's fine, whatever. Speed boost. Oh, super effective. Yeah, dog. Masquerade, no. Bug and flying type. Fly. I do like Masquerade, though. Cool Pokemon. Cheetah. Good stackings. Parasol can't ward off Pokemon attacks. I mean, it can if it's gonna use like Rain Dance or if it has like Drizzle. Or, uh, you know. Alright, what are we gonna get? New route, new catch. Delibird. Oh, I have a Delibird! Hell yeah. I can ignore all this one. Mm, just gonna run. Wait, she did, does have Sing though, right? Shell armor, that's so good. Yeah. About this a while ago when I saw Sfeel in a battle I was like oh dude I'm doing a poke effect of the damn wall rain and catching a wall rain uh, the downside is I am four times weak to ice right now and I definitely don't want to lose Sheeta so I am looking up what this guy would have I know I already have a Lapras and I've been complaining about having too many water type Pokemon but Holy shit, this guy's good. Uh, also introduced in Gen 3, so like, that's that's dope. A uh, little rain. Okay, Generation 3. 
Emerald, level 25, he would have Aurora Beam, Body Slam, Ice Ball, and Encore. That's not bad. Actually, he doesn't even have a water type attack. He's not, he's not gonna learn one either. Which is not great, but I have Surf, so who cares? He's also gonna get Hail, and Rest, and Snore, and Blizzard, and Sheer Cold. So he actually already has his best moves, which is not bad. I mean, Blizzard ignores accuracy during a hailstorm, so... Hail and Blizzard, pretty good, but Blizzard only has 5 PP anyway, so... Or is it 10 in this game? If it's 10, I would go for it. I don't think it is, I think it's 5. Um... But yeah, he's got Body Slam, Aurora Beam, can teach him Surf. Ice Ball is... I forget what Ice Ball does. Oh, it's Rollout. It's Rollout for an Ice type. Yeah, not that good. Beam's no slouch, it's 65 power. This is Emerald, right? Yeah, we are attacking Emerald. Okay. So that's not that's not bad. It's not bad. And of course water and ice are both special attacks in this game, so But for special attack he's got 95 base power? Bad. So he's probably going to attack with Aurora Beam and Body Slam. Which are both pretty formidable, honestly. And of course I don't want to kill this thing, so Ice is not very effective on what? not very effective on fire, or water, or ice, or steel. So, probably crush. I mean, it would be nice to get a status on him, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Color change doesn't come into effect unless he, um. Uh, it's gonna confuse him. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Surf, see how much that do. So that's pretty good. Hitting me with ice ball, dude. It's not cool. Damn it, because that keeps increasing in power. That's only 90 accuracy, uh, and he was confused for like a good portion of that. Wow, he really does not stay confused very long. I 
mean, I can't exactly throw Ricky out here. Like, the only two guys I have that can do statuses are very weak to ice, so... I guess I'm just gonna throw some balls. Hell yeah, dude. First try. Fuck yeah. Oh, a netball would've been cool. The ice break Pokemon. Dude, that's awesome. To protect its herd, the leader battles anything that invades its territory, even at the cost of its life. Its tusks may snap off in battle. Hell yeah. Give a nickname to the Capture Wolverine? Yes, of course. And it's female, which is nice. Get some variety up in here. be a good name for this. I think it's a walrus. <laughs> uh, I was gonna name it Walt, but it's a female. About... Hmm. Considering Wally is like one of the main characters in the game. But again, it's a female Walrein. Um why hmm. Blinking on names here. Oh, wait, is that? That's what it's called. Tatami or Tatami. Yep. I was trying to remember that, yeah. We caught in four rafts of well, you can change things. Quarters really sewn together. Rice straw, tatami, so many compressed wood chip boards, extra. Yeah, they're, they're the flooring things that they use, uh, the Japanese flooring. It's like meant to absorb impact and stuff like that. Rice straw, no edging, matte surface, herb tatamu, meaning to fold or to pile. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to remember that, <laughs> like what the Japanese flooring thing was. I could not remember for a long time. Then I was like, wait, Tatami. Tatami. It's probably Tatami. Um. That doesn't answer my question what to. Oh.
Yeah. It, don't don't ask me why it just fits, okay? Roxanne. Put on the red light. Okay. Cool. So what is this, Route 120? Route 120. Walrain. Alright, there we go. And depending on what its ability is, I might add it to the team right now. Hey, there's an item up there. I just need a cut Pokemon. Machamp is like, what, am I not cut enough for you? Look at these muscles. Pokemon is... Ryu, right? Yeah, he's got cut. Um, yes? Does anybody else have cut? Hold on, summary. That's good. That's some good stats. Torrent ups water moves in a pinch. It's not a great ability. It's not a bad ability though. It's when he's uh, low HP, it means uh, water moves get boosted. So yeah, not 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 bad, not good. Um. Still another water type. I forgot I had a Bulbasaur, he's not as good in this game. Like, I already have a plethora of grass types too. Freaking Harold, the Ludicolo, freaking Ex Scrambles the Execute. Like, got a Golduck and a Crocknaw. And a Bell Awesome? I mean like. Definitely have not been getting a good variety in uh, types at all. place. Like, yeah, Aurora Beam is okay. Like, Ice Beam is just, like, better. Oh, 20. We're about to run into Steven. My Pokemon is strong. How about yours? Uh, my Pokemon are strong? Unless you literally only have one, you do. Okay. Dratini! Wow, again. Jeez. Have I done... Oh, have I done one on Dratini yet? Or no? Because that would be pretty sick. Oh, if it has Twister, actually, this might be bad. Which it probably does have Twister. That's set damage, that's fine. So more than half though, so I'm still gonna switch out. Get chowed. Flicky, Pichu, Tona, Lotada, Spion, Fences. Wheezing. I have not done a Pokefact of the Day on uh, Dratini. 
Alright, seen quite a few recently, so... Seems like a good pick. I'm just gonna body slam it. Yeah. Pokemon were stronger. Plus I have six Pokemon, you have one. Ugh, no. I much prefer in Fire Red and Leaf Green when you can just like scan to see who wants to do a rematch. Hmm? Honiko, hi, it's been a while. Also, Danjo doesn't remember how he voiced me. It's been that long. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no. Rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Onigo, are your Pokémon ready for battle? Yes. Onigo, show me your true power as a trainer. The Devon Scope. Yep. Usually it's a Kecleon, but we'll see what it actually is. It might be something different. Oh, shit. Yeah, if I had, um, a fire type, this would be s super easy. Um, how do you spell Caesar? Hold on. S-C-I-A-Z, okay. Caesar. Long steel, blah, 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 blah. Is it an attacker? I know. Physical attack. Gen 3, Pokemon Emerald, level 30, he would have Metal Claw, Agility, False Swipe, and Pursuit. So Dark and Steel? Shit, Pursuit being one of them. And Bug and Steel has no weaknesses except for fire. Fire is the only weakness of this Pokemon. However, things that would be neutral would be water, electricity, that's it. Water and electricity. Fire is definitely the way to go though. Okay, so because he has pursuit which is going to be twice as powerful if he does choose that while I'm switching out. Going to go with Shito? Heal? Okay. Metal Claw? That's fine. It still hurts a lot. I mean, I have to switch. So... Fighting would be decently good. Plus Dark is not very effective, and Steel is resisted by who? Steel is not very effective on itself, or Fire, Water, and Electricity. It would be Neutral and Crush. Crush has color change, though. Flying would be neutral. I could just have Sheeta use Fly. Metal Claws, like, the more powerful move. Oh, I could sing it. Damn it. Fun for that. Come on, just put him to sleep. There we go. I mean, even double attack power in pursuit wouldn't be that threatening, honestly. And color change would play to the strengths of Crush. 
But yeah, Surf is going to be probably my best weapon here. Yep. First attack is going to be super effective, right? No, just regular. And then... And then confuse, and then start surfing. And if only I had a fire type attack. For fire type Pokemon, I could put a fire type attack on somebody, but I would prefer a fire type. Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. That was 428, not bad. I see, your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. There are, there's one blocking the gym. Conico. I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Show off. I believe this is a new route down here, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna run back real quick. Heal up for free. Oh wait, I didn't grab Ryu, that's right. I was gonna cut those. Trying to see where because there's definitely an item back there. Um Okay guys. Well, on the next episode, I'm gonna grab Ryu. See what that item is to the east of Four Tree. Um then gonna go past Route 120, which I I think there's another route pretty soon after that bridge, actually. Actually, so... We'll see how that goes. Go Check. Our boat is at 27, not bad. Um, probably gonna go check and see what the gym type is. You know, curious. Plus, uh, it would be nice to know who to like prep. You know, this uh, this next part. But, um, and this is, I think, this is new music. Pretty sure this is unique. Pretty sure. Yeah, guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys had a good time. And of course, before we get going, it is time once again for the Poke Effect of the Day. And today's Poke Effect is about Weezing, the Poison Gas Pokemon. And uh, I chose Weezing because of that incident in the New Mauville, where uh, the self-destructing Weezings were kind of a problem. And uh, I chose this Sugimori artwork from Pokemon Red and Blue, I believe. And uh, I thought it was interesting in Pokemon Platinum, once again, Gen 4, uh, it says, it grows by feeding on gases released by garbage. Though very rare, triplets have been found. And I thought this was odd because in some of the other Pokedex entries it talks about how two coughings coming together in certain ways or whatever uh, can form a wheezing and the, there's two of them. And essentially that's what wheezing is, it's just two coughings like fused together. However, I've always thought that Weezing was 
three. Because even in the early art, you see the two heads, obviously. But it looks like there's a third, kind of like Magneton, but like a poison type. And in all of the early sprites, there's like this third thing on Weezing. And like, I guess maybe it's just the thing connecting the two heads, but the two heads are like together, you know? Like they're part of the same thing. So I thought the third one was just like an incomplete third head. So like, isn't that like the default form of Weezing? But maybe not. So anyway, that, that was a Pokedex entry that really stood out to me. But um, yeah, I don't know, that, that was just apparently a misconception I had for a really long time. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm curious if that was just me or if other people thought the same thing. And uh, of course, before we get going, it is time to thank the Fars and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novellus Draconis and Heemscast Gaming. And Heemscast Gaming has an excellent channel here on YouTube. Definitely go check that out. But, um... Yeah, if you want to be like these amazing people, support the show a bit more directly and get in on those membership benefits, uh, check out the join button down below. Tier start at three bucks a month. It's only ten cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff. And uh, until next time, guys, take care, and I hope you all have a good one.